but I am short. But I am short. It is a round thing. It is a round thing. It is a round thing. It is a triangular thing. It is a triangular thing. It is a square thing. It is a square thing. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. thanks. Sir. The second element. The second element is to stress the words. Yeah. Go on. The stress words. Slap. So Slap. this can apply when you are um, saying out important words. For example, negative words. Such no, as not negative. Not negative. Yeah. Important. Important yeah. words. Important words, such as. First, tell us. Slap. Chop. Punch. Point. So there are four, four examples of stressing hand gestures. The first one is to slap. To to slap. Slap. Yeah. Okay. Or you your hand. Yeah. Okay. Slap. Chop. The second one is chop. To chop. The third one punch is to punch. Yeah. And the last one is to uh, is to point. So use both of your index fingers. Uh, okay, so let give me an example. Give you an example. Um, this is an important issue. Ladies and gentlemen, I want, I would like to I would like you to lend me your attention because this is an important issue. This is so repeat after me. This is an important issue. This is an important issue. This is an important issue. We this, must uh, we must do solve this. this. We must. If we must solve this. We must solve this. We have to do this. We have to do this. It is our responsibility. It is our responsibility. So you can I hope you can apply this in your speech. So let's move on. The third element is negative words denial. So words like this include um, do not must not, shouldn't. So when you want to say out these words, you can apply elements such as uh, crossing your hands. Secondly, is to uh, it's just crossing your hands. Ah uh, okay. yeah, just crossing your hands. Okay. Okay. So for example, uh, students should not disobey their teachers. So repeat after me, students should not disobey their teachers. Students should not disobey their teachers. We are not satisfied. We are not satisfied. We are not satisfied. We couldn't solve this. We couldn't solve this. We couldn't solve this. They didn't know the answer. They didn't know the answer. They didn't know the answer. Okay, okay the fourth one. The fourth one, lastly. Is on the logic, logical sequence. This is always about uh, demonstrating the flow of your points in your speech. Good. So, for example, in your speeches, you usually would have two to three points to elaborate. So, when you are speaking, I have three points in my speech. This is my first point. Elaborate. This is my second point, elaborate, this is my third point. So, it is very important, it is very important. Ah, yes. Because, you need, when you, uh, when you transition your speech using numbering, it is clearer and it's easier for audience to track down your points. And to understand. And to understand the flow of your speech. So, let's repeat after me. This is my first point. This is my first point. Moving on to my second point. Moving on to my second point. This is my third point. This is my third point. So I think that's all from me. I hope all these four elements can be integrated.